ran out of time on the previous vi video, so uh, we'll start again. We have the extrusion completed to complete our body uh, that we're going to mirror. Uh, that's up in front of us. So let's go ahead with the mirror process. So let's go create mirror mirror create mirror there we are create mirror we are going to mirror a body we have the options and i may or may not have covered this in the previous video so forgive me if this is duplicated <clears throat> we could do a body which we're going to do faces features what's the features well we could come down and mirror these two extrusions, those are features, okay? But we'll stay with bodies. What body are we going to select? Now, we could just select the body by clicking on it. It may not be that easy in some designs. We can go to the browser, expand bodies by clicking the arrow. There's body one, the only body we have. Select it. And now we need to select a mirror plane. A mirror plane could be one of our three planes that we sketch on, front, front back, uh, top bottom, right, left. We could mirror on one of those planes. We could uh, create a construction plane to mirror on. That's a unique plane or a plane that we create um, it could be a simple plane that is elevated 25 millimeters above the top bottom plane, for example. That's a construction plane. We could use a face of an object. So here's our planes down here. We want, when we mirror, we're going to position the object the same distance away from the plane and same size as what the existing ob object is. I'm going to mirror off of this face here. That's going to serve as our plane. It projects out the second the mirrored body. We are going to use the operation of join. We're going to create one body out of this. and We're going to click OK. And there is our almost completed project. If I bring over the diagram, what we're going to find is notice these. Here's my 30 millimeter hole, 30 millimeter diameter hole. I have a diameter of four on this, on this curve. So it's going to be a radius of two. We're going to add a fillet to this. This has a diameter of two. Why it's listed as diameters on this dimension sheet, I'm not sure. It should be radiuses. I'm not trying to fool anybody. Um, so we're going to add a radius of one on our fillet on these holes. So let's go ahead and get that done and finish the project. We're going to fill it, these. That means we're going to round off those corners. And it's going to add material to our design. Let's go modify, fill it, keyboard shortcut of F. I'm going to select this circle, this edge of this opening, I mean. And there's the bottom. It, it'll give it to me without turning it over. I'm going to do the outer edges on these holes. Well, can't do those yet because those are going to have a different value. These are going to be a two millimeter radius. There it is. Click OK. So I've rounded off those corners. Let's do it again. Modify fillet. There's the shortcut, keyboard shortcut of F. I'm going to select that edge, the outer edges. So there's the bottom one. There's the top. Give me the bottom. There's the bottom one. And those are going to have a one millimeter fillet. Click OK. Now the project is done. Take your screenshots and submit it. 
and I'll see you next time.